Okay, what we can see here is we can see the power button, uh, the, the, the amount of battery left, the SD card, the particular date and time which is recent. Our last used type, uh, type of probe was a single crystal probe. And also here in this uh, section, this circle here, that'll tell us if we're doing any live recording. Here are the main functions here at the bottom for setting up the device. And this is the um, act actual uh, things about the, 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 the probe and what the inspection, what you're looking at and the gates um, and the gain adjustments, all the fine detail in this sub menu too. So just going through basically here in this um, sub menu one, we can see this is one of three, and if we scroll over using the keypad, we get to the end, and it tells us we're in sub, um, in, into the second page, third, last page, page three of three. So if we go back, we can say, okay, we, we can, and we confirm, confirm this. We can then jump into this menu, make the adjustments, so this is just setting up the gain, the steps, if we were to do a fine gain, but if we would, we, we can adjust the, the gain here, has an impact on what's happening in the screen just here. And so, okay, well, every time we adjust the gain, we can adjust by 6 dB, 12, half. And if we scroll into here, we can, this is what we're changing by for fine gain adjustment. Here we are in the full screen mode, what we can do is we're setting up the gain because we set up the course adjustments and the fine adjustments before, every time we change it here, or we can say okay we want to do a fine adjustment, that's what it impacts there, and that's why we set up, is it the full screen there, that's why we set it up here for, for gain adjustments with, with, with course and fine adjustments. So when you're in full screen mode and you want to adjust, you're doing it by the small bits you need. We, we can adjust the range and the longer, see how the, sorry, see how this arrow is up and now it's down. If I press to the right, it'll do in large adjustments. But if we go back to that small arrow, it'll do it in fine adjustments. The longer we hold down this button, the faster this number will climb. If we just release, press release, hold a little bit longer, and release. It'll, 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 that speed, the adjustment speed of the range, the gate, whatever um, the, the adjustments are here, even in gate, the, the longer we hold the button for adjustment, It'll, it'll, it'll increase um, the range, but then the speed of increase will also go higher the longer um, we hold that button as well. So that's something to be mindful to. Okay, let's go back into the back end of this. Maybe if you don't like this um, back, uh, white on black text, maybe you don't like the brightness. Currently it's set to uh, the third level brightness, but if we go all the way back home, we go into setup, set up the system. We've got this back end here where it says, okay, we can set the date, the time, the time zone as well. We can um, define the colors. We can see what's happening with the outputs. We can even say, okay, yeah, we're operating as a left-handed unit, but if we right-handed unit, look at that straight away right hand you don't and then all the keypads on here your 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 f f1 f2s are still will do, still do the same thing so your full screen your freeze your gain adjustments your gate adjustments were all there stay the same okay what we can do is even show you so it's a set it's quite a low setting for the brightness we can see it quite easily in daylight um, but let's just see so my my phone 
that has taken this video is compensating for the brightness level, but that's actually quite uh, incredibly bright. Um, and we'll drain the battery, battery a little earlier. Um, so the, the aperture is, is compensating, Joe, and how much light's actually coming in. So you can't really see it as well, but it is, is quite bright. You do expect to get about eight hours out of the battery on this. Um, so th that's pretty excellent as well. Here, the F1 and F2 buttons, F1, F2 buttons, we can now customize what it is going to be just by cycling through the menu. So every time this F2 is button, it will perform this operation that you've set it at. Okay, what you can also see here on this, this button interface is once you've done all your adjustments, you've got the save button. This particular one talks at the the gain adjustment is an if so if you're in the main screen you know doing your inspections you can change the gain adjustment here it'll take you change the submenu and then so through these keys you can then make the right adjustments quite quickly and you can see your adjustments happening there back to the menu okay for the gate quick access while you're doing your inspections you can adjust your gates. This will bring it to this. So whatever part of the, your inspection you're in, you've got access to these. These live buttons are two separate buttons that you can um, dictate what they actually can do. F1 is set to, I think, is full screen mode. So we've got full screen mode. We've got rid of our menus, and then we can get on with, with our inspections. But again, have access to our gates or have access to our gain adjustments. If we go to this F2 currently is set to freeze. So if we're in full screen mode, we can freeze what's happening on the screen, freeze the echo, um, do some measurements with our rulers or make some notes. But pressing this button, we can unfreeze the screen and go back to live readings. And as it says here, exit to full screen, pushing the home button, done. Okay, what we can do here with obviously we've got we've, we've got gate A, we've got the gate B is off. We've obviously got access to three gates. But here, we can say, okay, we can make the adjustments. It'll display on screen where this gate starts and stops, but the, the width will stay the same. We can do a fine adjustment, but if I hit changes from the arrow up down to that, we can say, okay, I can make it a larger adjustment and then move it to the left or to the right. If I just put it to a large, it'll bump it to where we need it in greater movements on that range. Same with again with the threshold. We can pick it where we want that gate to state. So as you can see, it's quite similar to the other uh, UT sets that are out there with uh, your basic uh, menu functions and then your fine adjustment in your sub menus that you can do. It's nice to have these uh, hot buttons that'll get you to what you need to do. Um, when you are doing your inspections, it's not unusual uh, or different to you know, a USM Go or an Epoch 650. Um, it doesn't have the rotary nods, but um, this which reduces the cost of the device, but also also means that this unit here is also very serviceable, which we do here in Australia too. We'll send out the loan unit, it's like this. We'll um, get your repairs done locally and um, we'll get it turned around in a couple of days. All right, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you around.